10 watts and a crossband repeater for less than 100 bucks? You bet. I'm going to share it with you as we jump into it. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this with you. I just picked this guy up off of eBay. It's, it's out there in a lot of different places, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. This is the Abri AR889G, also sold as the Zestone, I believe, ZT889G also. And I think there might be another version or two of this out in the marketplace um, that's been bumping around. It seems to have been out roughly since about 2018. So I picked this up off of eBay, just the radio, uh, for about 89 bucks with free shipping from China. It took a couple weeks to get here, got here in good condition. And I want to talk about a little bit about the dynamics because there's really two packages on eBay that you can buy this with. Now, this package just comes with the radio. That's it. You know, when I say radio, the battery, there's a bell clip and a charger. So that's all you get. The other option is, comes with a cable and purportedly software. Now, this is one of the big challenges with this radio is getting the software. Now, all the links that I've seen to the software for this, which is really under the Zestone name, seem to have been broken and the whole Zestone.com site is gone. Now, there appears to be a new one, a Zestone.ch for China or Cian, I can't remember, but a Chinese site, but there's no downloads and basically it just bounces you back to Alibaba. Uh, there have been a number of people that have put the software out on um, like uh, you know Dropbox drives and that kind of stuff but all those links seem to be broken so I have not been able to find the software for this um, now apparently if you buy it with the cable and I think that comes out to be like you know 30 40 bucks more uh, with another weird antenna I think you get with it uh, they'll supposedly send you a link for the software now what I ended up doing is I've ended up buying a cable and software from RT systems for this I haven't gotten the cable in yet I do have the software now I have read that the Bofang uh, UV5R cable will work with this uh, it won't work with the RT system software now I tried chirp with this this is not a supported radio under chirp first off but because it has so many hybrids I was hoping to find a combination now with the Bofang cable I could get chirp to connect but I could not get chirp to clone the radio so I also looked up in their roadmap and I think in 2018 there was a request to add this radio to the roadmap but I haven't seen anything since then for chirp but RT Systems does have it, and, and it's like 40 bucks or something like that. I'll do a bit of an overlay for the cable and that because it does the for the RT system software to work, it does require a USB-K4Y programming cable. It will not work with the Bofang cable. I tried using the, the, the Baofang cable with this and the RT system software did not work. Um, so with that all being said I kind of looking forward to that but why did I pick this up well first off I picked this up this is a 10 watt radio so this bests my uh, Baofeng by 2 extra watts because I've got the F, uh, F8HP which is an 8 watt radio this is 10 watts now I don't have a watt meter to fully test it but I have seen a number of Russian tests uh, where it does show 10 watts so I'm kind of you know believing that we're around 10 watts on the unit but the biggest thing that made me a buyer for 89 bucks is this button right here this is a crossband repeater um, basically if we turn this radio on let's go ahead and do this and I press this you notice it's 400 and 147 so UHF VHF this is now in crossband repeater mode and so I can use this as a portable crossband repeater now this is really cool if you ask me um, and I think can be handy for a lot of different things so I've turned turn crossband off uh, 
so it can be really handy, I think, for a lot of different things. And one of the pieces uh, that I'm thinking about at the house is having a permanent crossband repeater set up. Anytime you start talking about crossband repeater, one of the big challenges you have is heat, you know, because this thing is basically transmitting almost all the time or with any type of traffic. Uh, so I'm thinking about actually taking this somewhat apart, uh, adding heat sinks to it. Uh, adding a dedicated power supply and basically making this my permanent in-house repeater system. And, and I think you could probably do some really cool things. You could probably put it in an environmental enclosure, put it outside, up on a tower, all kinds of crazy things, you know, for it to be quote unquote legal. You could probably put, um, you know, use an Arduino or something like that, uh, Raspberry Pi to provide remote control for some of the functions. I think there's a lot of different really cool options that you could do with this and that's why I picked it up is to really mess around with some of those and, and just go ahead and use it. Uh, it does have a different connector. I always get confused on whether it's on the SMAs, they're males or females, but it does not have the Baofeng style connector so a Baofeng antenna cannot work. So I'll, you know, show you right here. So you can kind of get the idea of the antenna types. Um, so I haven't checked out these an this antenna yet on the uh, Nano VNA. Uh, I'll do that when I get a chance. The other thing that is really kind of cool about this, but you really need two radios, is the GPS function. Because it does have GPS. So it does show your location on GPS where the radio is at. And then also you can share the GPS location with another uh, matching radio and the two can determine their location to one another. So, you know, for emergency situations, I would think that this could be very cool. So there you go with the, the map. So since I only have one radio, obviously it can't show uh, the other position is showing my position at the center of the circle. If we had other radios, it would show the location of the other radios on this circle. So you, you could know, well, another radio is north of you, another radio is east of you. So I think really interesting technology. And again, for sub, you know, a hundred bucks, I thought was really interesting to play with. The build quality is typical Chinese. The, I think probably the biggest knock I would have is the push to talk button. Um, I mean, it's okay, but, um, you know, it's not the highest quality. I actually think my Baofeng feels better in the push-to-talk scenario. It feels like a, a small micro switch back there, but it's okay. Um, uses the typical Kenwood connector, so the Baofeng accessories, uh, you know, fit it in the mics and that kind of stuff. And, uh, oh, it does, it, it does have the uh, obligatory flashlight in the top. So I opened up the monitor, pressed the wrong custom button feature. So anyways, I'm looking forward to getting the RT software, programming this thing, playing around with the uh, repeater function, because again, what I'm thinking about doing is placing this um, you know, up in my attic as a cross-band repeater and being able to you know hit this from the house with you know one of my bow fangs lower powered bow fangs on one watt and have this talk out 10 through a high gain antenna to some of the local repeaters because the problem i got is where i'm located at there's a bunch of repeaters around me but i come up you know short on making it with the handhelds so at 10 watts with a high gain antenna on the roof I'm good, but yet I don't want to be stuck sitting in front of a radio in my quote unquote shack. I want to be able to move around my house, my property, and still be able to talk to those repeaters. And I'm hoping that this does it. And again, what I'm looking at doing for the control function to make myself legal, if I can say that, uh, for having a repeater like this, because again, for unattended control is to use something like a Raspberry Pi or Arduino to be able to shut the power off. Now, I would probably even cycle this. I probably would not leave this on 24 hours a day is, you know, obviously most of the time at two o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to use it. So I would set the Arduino or Raspberry Pi to power this off at certain times and, uh, you know, something like that, or even set up something, um, you know, where I could remotely turn it on, uh, you know, from a distance and then turn it off, something like that. So anyways, lots of projects coming with this. Very interested in this radio. I'll have links to both versions of this down below so you can take a look at it. Um, for the money, I would recommend it. Again, for the money, I do recommend it because I think this is an interesting radio just to mess around with. And, you know, might be interesting to get a couple of them 
uh, because I think an emergency situation, I mean, this, this locator is super cool. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe is going to be over there. If you have one of these, if you have software, if you have tips, please hit me up in the comments below. As with anything I share on this channel, I'm looking to share with you guys as well as learn from you guys. So I'd like this to be a two-way street. So feel free to hit me up in the comments. Take care and we'll talk to you guys later.